What's going on guys? This is JT here. We are over here on the Taiwan servers and yes, we do have the new hero Michael. Thanks to my man ITEJ. He is chilling right here in the base. We got him 3 of 10 with 3 of 5 enlightened. Let me go ahead and open up this altar and let's see here. So he increases your attack and attack um, speed by 26% at 3 of 10. I obviously can't read any of the rest, but we also know that he summons an archangel on proc that absolutely not only destroys everything, but also it uh, it is invulnerable to fear and stun as well. So it basically never dies. So we have 3,940 damage, 1,500 attack speed, which is pretty slow, but we have 107,000 total life. That is more life than I believe I have ever seen on any other hero. Let's compare him to... What?! Lil Nick at level 200 has 41,000 and Michael has 107,000. So that is two and a half times the e I mean the HP of Lil Nick. That is absolutely insane. Let's see. So Revenant at level 200 has 75,000 HP. So he has 30,000 more hit points than Revenant. Look at this. He has 108,000 HP. Nobody even has close to that. Most... Most heroes have like 50,000, even Ghoulam. The most HP of all heroes, pretty much, has only 85,000 hit points. And Michael's chilling with 100. Wow, Dread Drake only has 8. That is nuts to think about. So my man Michael is definitely going to be one heck of a Guild Wars defense hero, it looks like. And maybe even an offensive hero as well with how beast he is. Oh my gosh, Come talk about a mandatory hero. He's going to be mandatory for Guild Wars Defense. He's going to be mandatory for Archdemon. IGG made the right move by releasing this bad boy. Alright, so let's go ahead and try to use him in a dungeon. Let's see what happens. I'm going to toss him down first. I'll toss him down with just heroes all over the place. That way, let's see. What does he put above the hero's head? Okay, so he doesn't give him like any type of... Does he have to be next to the heroes to give them more attack? Oh no, okay, so we do have the Michael buff. See those little angels above their heads? Look at that. That means they probably, that means they got more damage and attack speed if they have that buff. So that's pretty sweet. Not bad at all. My goodness. Let me do one more dungeon, then I'm gonna go in and do some arch demon action on this bad boy. Let's go ahead and toss him over here. Toss Valentina and him over here. Look at that. Archangel right there just running through doesn't even take any damage That's pretty sweet Not bad at all Wow Just floats around floats over all the walls just kills everything Michael can float over walls too. So Mark Michael's basically an archangel himself So that's pretty cool all right, let's go into the Archdemon and see what we got here. Yes, I will use these six right here. Go ahead and summon Michael. No! I'm not going to lose Michael right there. Oh, I didn't lose Michael's Archangel, though. How did we get a proc? How did I get an Archangel proc there but lost Michael at the same time? That was kind of crazy. I'm not sure how that worked. Go ahead and use that in vulnerability. That way I don't lose my Michael this time. So he must gain energy like insanely fast to get that proc off so quick. I'm not sure if he has quick energy refill or if it was just from the Archdemon and the Archdemon's pet that made him gain energy that fast. I'm not exactly sure. Couldn't really get a good glimpse of what all he does right there because obviously, um, oh, already 100% complete. That is too bad. I was going to run that. Can't really get a good glimpse of what Michael does in that game mode because all the heroes die so fast and you can't really tell anything. Let's go ahead and try to ro run this base right to, or raid this base one time and see what happens. We got it. What's that Archangel going to do up here up top? Okay, so he definitely doesn't have fast energy recovery. He was gaining that energy quickly from uh, the Archdemon and the other buffs. I mean, and the other adds. Where is his Arch? Angel at? How's he gonna proc and not summon an Archangel? There's the Archangel. Why didn't the Archangel summon the first time? That's weird. I'm not exactly sure how this hero works. It seems to be unclear. 
but he does not have any type of AOE damage. He attacks single targets. But the huge thing about this guy, man, is his hit points, which is going to be everlasting in Guild Wars. And not only his hit points, obviously his buff of attack and attack speed, which is going to be huge. Pretty cool hero overall. I'm a fan. For sure a fan. Man, look at this. This guy is crazy. Pretty sweet. Alright guys, well that pretty much sums it up. I just wanted to show off Michael over here on the Taiwan server. One major thing to note is his hit points, man. 107,000 total hit points at level 200, not even evolved. So he probably gets up to near 300,000 experience, which is absolutely crazy. I wonder what talents are going to be good on him. It seems like Stone Skin's probably going to be crazy. He's going to be undiable in Guild Wars. Definitely take away the whole sniping factor. All right, guys. Well, hope y'all enjoyed the video. I am out of here. Peace out, fellas.